What is going on, my super sandwiches? Rhymes out here, and welcome back to another Hidden Fates opening. And today I got another batch of many, 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 many packs. And if, as you can see in the background, I got a stack of packs from my last opening of the same sitting. So as I mentioned in that video, I bought like like 70, 80 packs, something like that, and I split them up into three videos, so they're not too long. Uh, and let's see what we can get. So what you see in the back is actually all basically a product from that opening. And as you can see, there's a lot of shinies back there. So hopefully, I didn't like get all the crazy shiny packs in the beginning, and then the next like 40 packs I have is gonna be nothing. So we'll find out uh, what happens as we go through this opening. But yeah, comment section below. But toss out the, the, the favorite question I've been asking a lot in the last couple weeks. What is your favorite shiny of all time and why? Your voice is cracking. Let me know down below. Just kind of tossing it out there. And again, I was gonna toss out mine. Shiny Charizard! Shiny Charizard! Missed these water command. You know, it would have been cool if that was a Shiny Charizard to go along with what I was saying. All right, let's open the Shiny Charizard pack and let's try this again. <clears throat> I, Dino Rhyme Style, my favorite Shiny of all time is, there's a code card, it's, it's it's an easy one. Can you guys guess? It's definitely going to be the uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. My favorite one is Shiny Charizard, which would have been right there if I actually pulled it. But instead, we got uh, Shiny Arbok and then uh, Sabrina's suggestion. Dope! Okay, so right off the bat, the, the opening here isn't as good as the first one was because, again, the crazy theory I have is, is when I unboxed all the packs and uh, split them up into three parts, I feel like I grabbed all the shinies in one, and then the rest is going to be all duds. Hopefully not, though. So, fingers crossed. We got Psychic Energy in the front, followed by Farfetch'd. We got a gym, another gym, Clefairy, Jigglypuff, Caterpie, Paris, Psyduck. Oh, my gosh. Or at least we got a Howl back there. <laughs> but, no, for real. Uh, luck, RNG, don't be like this for me, okay? Give me something good. How about this one? You know, we're, we're overdue one. You know, the pull rates for these packs for shinies are so ridiculously high that uh, theoretically this should be fire, right? Oh, wait, it is. I see something shining on the bottom. So we got either a full art card or a ultra shiny GX. Might be a full art card because the back of this is really, really smooth. But hopefully we get both. I don't know. Let's find out. I definitely saw something shine though. So either it's going to be ultra shiny GX or it's going to be some kind of crazy full art. Slowly. Matang and the Giovanni's Exile, so we actually doubled up. I actually have a Matang already, so it's not new for me. But hey, man, again, a shiny pull is a shiny pull. It's always a win. Um, way better than getting a holographic Brock's training. And another Giovanni's Exile. As I mentioned in my last opening, uh, again, I have no idea when this is all going to get uploaded. So by the time this video goes live, this might even be old news, honestly. But recently, in the last, uh, I guess this month, we had a uh, shiny Charizard. <laughs> A perfect BGS Black Label 10 Charizard sell for $10,000. Some crazy, crazy individual out there decided that they wanted that first one really, really badly. And for some reason, they shelled out some premium money. I mean, this there's old cards that aren't worth 10 grand. There's old Charizards that aren't worth 10 grand. So the fact that they spent that much for a new Charizard that's not even like a month old is ridiculous. And the reason why it's actually bad and why you never want to do that in the beginning is because the thing is, is, this is the first one that exists. And fine, the first one is going to be crazy hype. You know, everyone wants to get the first one. Hello. <laughs> everyone wants to get the first one. Uh, however, uh, the thing is, is over time, there's going to be more. For all you know, when I pull this Charizard right now inside my hand, right now, right now, right now, next one. Uh, LR, you have failed me. Whenever I pull my Charizard, if I do it, it's going to be a 10. Granted, I'm going to go to P PSA instead of BGS, but either way, it's still going to be a perfect grade 10. Because, again, the, the car quality, the printing quality for these have been so ridiculously good that that one BGS that exists right now is going to probably be 100 after a month. And then after a year, it's going to be like 1,000 because they're always such high quality. So uh, the value of that $10,000 card is going to be worth like 800 bucks, maybe 1,000 bucks, which is still a lot. Like, don't get me wrong, but it ain't no 10 grand. It ain't no 10 grand. We got fire energy in the front. Ugh. Bad packs. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below on the $10,000 card that sold. Now, there's going to be some people who are going to watch this video and be like, what? Card sell for that much? Absolutely. A lot of the old cards, especially anything that says Charizard, are so ridiculously valuable that uh, it happens all the time. So, I mean, um, PSA 9 First Edition Shadowless Charizard is like a $6,000, $7,000 card. And it sells actively for that price. And a PSA 10 of that is worth like 50 grand that people are actively paying for. Yeah, the, the Pokemon hobby can get pretty expensive. Mew and Onyx. 
it can get pretty expensive uh, because everybody, there's so many collectors in the world and everybody just wants to chime in and just get their favorite cards uh, again. And then you got the millionaires who, who hop in and then they fight for it and then that's what causes the cards to go up. That's why a first edition PSA, wow. First edition uh, base set booster box is worth like $80,000 now, which is ridiculous. And yeah, those are actually prices that have sold. I think the most recent one that sold a couple months ago sold for like $78,000, which is ridiculous. Yeah, so there, there's a lot of value in Pokemon cards, uh, just rarely with new stuff. Except, I guess, the shiny Charizard. Whoever sold that Charizard is probably like a genius because they're going to get that crazy flip and then they're going to take that $10,000 they got and they're probably going to buy the PSA 10 or BGS 10 of this card in like six months from now for like a portion of that. <laughs> a small percentage of that. It's going to happen, watch. So they, they were big brain to sell it. Now, would I have sold it? Uh, it's, a t it's a tough call. Because I remember uh, when uh, Burning Shadows came out, I was I was within the first four people to get a PSA 10 of that card. And I still have that card to this day. I never sold it. There's so many people in the comments telling me, like, run, sell it, Lucario, nice. Ooh, ooh, I wanted this one. There were some people in my comments telling me to sell it. And I was like, no, nah, this is going to my collection. And granted, I could have sold that Burning Shadows Charizard for like, you know, like $1,400, $1,500 when, when it first came out. But then I would just want to buy it again. I would just want to buy one later, and even right now the card is still technically kind of valuable. I mean, the PSA 10 of that is worth a couple hundred bucks, but still, like, it's like you're selling it to buy it again later. Granted, I guess you sell for more money and then buy it for less later, so there's still some kind of win there. But I don't know. I just, whenever I get these cards and grade them myself, I just kind of keep it for my own personal collection, just because I'm weird like that. But then again, you have those people who are just, you know, they'll they'll pull the card, they'll grade it, and they'll sell it immediately, and then just never look back at it again. Bam! Man, I'm so excited I got that Lucario. That is so cool. That's actually another one I wanted. I think right now the only card, the only card I really want to pull now, outside of Charizard, of course, is going to be Umbreon. I got the Espeon already. I definitely got the Mewtwo, which is exciting. Uh, but the one that I really, really want to pull now, outside the Charizard, obviously, is probably going to be Espeon, or uh, Umbreon, sorry. Uh, I would love to get Rayquaza, but Rayquaza is going to be saved for a future box. Uh, the Japanese version did have a shiny Gibble. Nice. They had a, a, a shiny Rayquaza as well that I never got in Japanese and I really wanted it. Uh, but for, for some reason, they decided to save that for like a future box release. So obviously the value for that Rayquaza is going to be way, way lower. But still, man, again, as a collector, just trying to get my favorites, I definitely want it. Now, you know what? I talked about this. In, I did like an interview a while back with Poke Guardian, and there was a question that was like, if you could have any shiny car, which one would it be? Definitely Lugia. And I'm upset that there's no shiny Lugia in the set. Please, Pokemon Company, do like a Hidden Fates Part 2 or something and give us a shiny Lugia. I would go crazy for that. And you know people will buy it as well. And there's so many shinies they could add in the set. So in the comment section below, if you could add any shiny that hasn't been in Hidden Fates, who would that be for you and why? Let me know down below. Another one I would definitely... Oh, Scizor is another one I want. Scizor is actually available in Hidden Fates. Because anything that like looks ridiculously good, like this Lucario, for example, I feel like they're like perfect for like, you know, a set like this. So yeah, two, three, four. Four. Now I I think I still have more packs coming. At the time of recording this, all I have is left this should be like another like 30 packs next to me, which I'll open at some point in the future. But I still have more packs coming. And even if I pull a Charizard, like I mentioned, I am definitely going to keep uh, keep um, opening more because this set is just so fun. Burning Shadows is just depressing. You know, you want to just get that one card, but you don't get that one card. It's like. Ugh. And then you see the green code card pop up, which ruins the experience even more, yada, yada, yada. But everything about Hidden Fates, man, it's just great. You guys are going to get so tired of me talking about Hidden Fates. <laughs> I'm going to get some people in the comments like, shut up. Sorry, man. You know, this is just my passion talking here. And uh, it is what it is. Bam. Hey, another Surviper. Dog, I think Surviper is not officially the, the shiny that pulled way more than anything so far. Because uh, I think it's like my third copy. Maybe even my fourth copy at this point. But yeah, all right, let's go ahead and crack open this this one. We yeah, I gotta I gotta use my, my my senses. Every opening, I was like try to feel out that one pack that could potentially be fire. And last time in the previous opening for this, I, I mean it was I was kind of spot on. It was a shiny, it just wasn't Charizard not yet. But bro, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I had a feel. I didn't see any shine on here, but I had a feeling that, that I I was gonna get an ultra shiny GX. And actually, I don't mind doubling up on that. I do not mind doubling up on that. That's another one I would definitely enjoy. All right. This Mewtwo pack is going to be fire. Watch. Let's put you right there. You can hang out over there. All right. We got a bunch of Charizard packs, actually. 
I think this is the only Mewtwo pack in this batch. No, I think I, I think I see one more green tail. So, um, yeah, but I feel like this uh, this Mewtwo pack is gonna end it with some heat at the end of the video. Don't skip forward. Don't cheat. Don't look ahead. Here we go. Charmeleon Jinx. How about you give me a Charmander or a Charmeleon at this point? If you don't give me these regular shinies, I would love to see that. Oh, come on. Pincer! Great. Pincer, you can hang out behind. Uh, there you go. You can hang, hang on the GX pile. I feel so bad for the GX cards in the set because it's like you don't really care for them. And there's even a Charizard. And I still, as a Charizard fan, still don't really care that much. I mean, I want to pull it, but like I'm just more excited about the shiny than anything. So can you blame me? One, two, three, four. All right. What we got? Fire in the front. It's always a good sign, right? Hopefully. Give me that shiny $10,000 Drompa. <laughs> Drompa, another shiny dog. I'm so excited that I'm pulling all the fire ones right now. Because um, before, normally I was pulling just like the regular shinies, and now I pull the GXs. I think I only pulled like, I'm going to say three GXs so far, or three or four ish. But now, like, I literally pull like four just in, in this one sitting alone through, I guess, two parts. But yeah. Let's crack open into this. Okay. Boom! Another energy, oh, not energy, um, code card. And then the energy is going to be Leaf. Ah! <laughs> Shout out to Leonard. I had to borrow his uh, patented, trademarked, guess the energy game for a quick second. But watch this. Ready for this? This is what happens when you guess the energy. You get a Blaine's last stand and a Jigglypuff. Never mind. Never mind. All right, we got three packs left from this batch. We got one of each art. We got uh, Mew. We got Mewtwo. Well, we also, we don't have the, the legendary birds, but... Um, we got Mew, Mewtwo, and Charizard, and then we're gonna hop into the final Mewtwo pack that's in the back, and hopefully end it with some heat. Come on, Ryan, you're so good at pulling Charizard, uh, especially the new ones. Why have you done it yet? Why have you not done it yet? Because, Ryan, keep talking to yourself. But right now, we we'll just get a Magic Carp. Dope. Okay, Charizard pack, and then we're gonna end it with the last two. And worst case scenario, we still got a batch of packs to go through, so you know it's not the worst. And then, <laughs> worst case, worst case scenario, I still got more coming. I think uh, by the time it hits Monday, I'm recording this on uh, September 5th. By the time I think Monday rolls around, I should have another batch of packs uh, arrive in my mail. Like I said, I ordered a bunch and I regret nothing. <laughs> I regret nothing. I told my girlfriend, I was like, just so you know, there's gonna be a lot of packages coming over the course of the next month. And it's all gonna be Ultra Shiny GX. She just like, looked at me and she's like, I understand. Charizard, I understand. Yeah, well, you know, gotta have your hobbies. Okay, we got Darkness Energy in the front. Uh, I feel like this pack is gonna be a dud. Something tells me this pack is gonna be a dud. It's a dud! It's an ultra dud, actually. However, that's fine. Because can we end it on a shiny pull, though? With the with the Mewtwo art. With the Mewtwo art. Let's see what, we get, what we're gonna end it with. We got the, there's a code card. All right, Mewtwo, what you gonna bring me, my dude? Remember, you're like my favorite Pokemon next to Charizard. What are you going to bring me? Watch him bring me a shiny Mewtwo right now. Ready for this? Watch this. Slow down. A little slower. Next one. Reshiram GX! We're ending it with another banger! Oh! That's two in a row now where my where my uh, instinct was right. My ultra instinct was right. I'm all for that. Ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed today's opening. Stay tuned for more. But uh, let me know your thoughts and everything discussed in the comment section below. I'll see you next time. Peace.